A Lima Lakes prison inmate is back in custody tonight. Sky 11 was there when James Douglas Mitchell was captured about 4.30 this afternoon on the side of Interstate 35W, just south of Hennepin Avenue in Minneapolis. Mitchell spent roughly five hours on the run. It all started when authorities say he stole a prison van with eight other inmates inside. From the prison in Lionel Lakes, there was some type of a stop in Moundsview where five of the inmates were apprehended. The van was found in North Minneapolis. Three inmates were inside the van and taken back into custody. Then began the intense search for Mitchell. Lindsay Sievert's in Minneapolis with more on this developing story. Lindsay. Hi, Randy. Well, a bit of background. This all started at the St. Cloud prison. Mitchell was with a group of inmates being transported in a van when that van made a stop at the Lino Lakes prison, where Mitchell then somehow escaped. Well, the chase from there had many twists and turns here to North Minneapolis down to 35W, where his hours of freedom ended on the freeway. Deshaun Davis had an afternoon to do list. Washing my car. But stopping a manhunt for a group of escaped prisoners was not part of his plan. Then it was a convict van pull up, convicts hopped out. Dude said that he hit the guard and jumped in the van and took off. What Deshaun didn't know, police were on the trail of this white van driving a group of prisoners from a St. Cloud prison when somehow during a stop at the Lino Lakes facility was overtaken by an inmate. I got the alert on my phone. I was like, wow, okay, come outside and then there's helicopters out here. I was once incarcerated at Lino Lakes. You would have to know some people on the inside prison officials, things of that nature to get out of that prison. Exactly how the escape began is under investigation. But when the van stopped in an alley on Thomas Avenue in North Minneapolis, the, van's right there. the driver who police identify as inmate James Mitchell had just one request for Tashawn. I asked for a cigarette. I gave him the cigarette that I was smoking. Here you go. And he took off running. Leaving Tashawn with three handcuffed inmates in the back of the van. They asked him to call 911. And then the other inmates asked me for a cigarette. Could I call their parents? I said, okay, I got you. This is another example of someone that took pride in ownership in their neighborhood and their community. Police then followed more leads from North Minneapolis to a park north of Dinkytown, where they finally caught up with Mitchell, arresting him on 35W. And I said, dang, that's crazy. And that was it. For many, an unnerving and memorable start to Memorial Day weekend, but not to Tashawn. I'm from Chicago, where it's all go down. <laughs> so quite the day here in North Minneapolis, Mitchell was taken to HCMC to be treated for injuries during the capture. He is serving a sentence for first degree assault, use of deadly force against a police officer, and Randy was and is back in maximum security prison.